I am going to propose that um, uh, Elias Mzuri will be one of the vice presidents. Nelson Chamisa will be one of the vice presidents. It was these unilateral appointments by the late MDC leader in 2016 that ignited a long leadership battle in Zimbabwe's official opposition party, MDC. The then elected vice president, Togozani Kupe, challenged these appointments and won the case at the High Court. But Nelson Chamisa appealed the ruling at the Supreme Court and appointed himself as the president following the death of his mentor, Morgan Changarai in 2018. I'm not, I'm not seeking to be the president of MDC. I'm already president of MDC Alliance. In March this year, the Supreme Court upheld the High Court ruling, which had nullified Chamisa's legitimacy as an MDC leader. He insists the judgment is of no consequence. The Supreme Court restated Tokozani Kupe only with a limited mandate to organize our past. Okay. Not even the future. Indeed. Chamisa and the now interim MDC leader Togazani Kupe have been at each other's throat even before the passing of the party's founding father, Morgan Changarai. The pair went on to contest the Zimbabwe's elections in July 2018 as rivals. Chamisa is the leader of the MDC alliance and Kupe running for MDCT. Kupe did not do well in the polls and can vast support from other disgruntled senior party officials in the fight for legitimate power of MDC. In the late afternoon of the 3rd of June, there was a peaceful and smooth handover takeover of the control of our headquarters, Morgan Changrai House in Harare. This prompted senior party officials aligned to Chamisa to act, but were arrested by the police. You can't deny us access to that building. You can't deny our workers the right to use that building. And so we are, what we are asking the police is to say, please eject the unlawful imposters that are there. Harvest House has been home for the main opposition party since 1999. It was recently renamed Morgan Richard Changarai House in honor of the founding father who died of cancer two years ago. The headquarters are now central to the battle of the rightful leadership. We, we, we have occupied this building since time immemorial. We acquired this building way back, way back in 2002. Before Mondora joined. Before Mondora joined in 2002. With Mondora, with Komich, with, Ko, with Kupe. And everyone knows that. We have been in occupation of uh, Morgan Shangrai House for many, many years, uh, ever since uh, its formation. We have always been there. Uh, the constitution of the MDC makes it clear that the party is headquartered at number 44 Nelson Mandela uh, Avenue. To add confusion to an already complicated saga, Kupe insists that MDCT is a legal and separate party. This despite being signatory to the MDC alliance with several other parties in order to contest the 2018 polls as a stronger organization. Chamisa says the MDC alliance is a political party that has succeeded the parties that went into the alliance. We have since secured a peace order with the magistrate court. In terms of this peace order, they are not allowed to come to the uh, MRT house they are also not allowed to interfere with our possession of the property. Commentators say this new battle for control of the party headquarters will be hugely symbolic for Zimbabwe's political landscape. Chamisa, however, believes the tussle for the party president's seat should not be given much attention. I don't understand why this should call for a conference. A revolution will never have headquarters. A revolution will never have offices. A struggle will never have offices. So that's why this whole false focus on the harvest house is a waste of time. The real house that is of consequence here is the state house, where we need to make sure that we correct the set, you know, status and settings of things. Where we must be able to make sure that we have correct people in offices of government. Right now we have wrong people. That's why everything is wrong. And everything is facing the wrong direction. Political analysts have warned that the opposition MDC risk losing relevance 
if it continues on its self-destructive path and that the fight between the two factions is distracting the opposition for holding the ruling party to account. Sophie Mkwen, SABC News, Johannesburg.